Well, the massacre in Orlando is on so many people's minds and hearts this morning. Flags are flying at half staff in Ybor City this morning at the 9-11 Fallen Heroes Memorial as a tribute to the victims of the massacre in Orlando. This morning, we are hearing stories from survivors inside the nightclub where 50 people died. Incredible, horrifying descriptions of the moments gunshots started flying. And we want to take you through a timeline now of how the shooting unfolded. It all started at 2.02 a.m. yesterday. That's early yesterday morning. For those people who were out at that club, they may have called that Saturday night, right? That's when shots erupted inside Pulse nightclub. Now, hundreds of people were inside at the time. 20 minutes later, at 2.22 a.m., the shooter called 911, and he pledged allegiance to ISIS. At approximately 5 a.m., heavily armed SWAT team members used an armored vehicle to smash down a door at the club, clearing the way for some 30 people inside to escape. And then just minutes before 6 in the morning yesterday, that's when Orlando police tweeted that the shooter was dead. Now this morning, many families are still anxiously awaiting word about their loved ones. It's certainly been a very difficult time for them. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes continues our live team coverage now outside Orlando Regional Medical Center, or ORMC as it's known there locally. Ryan, some people were lucky. They ran out of this club. Running for their lives. Good morning to you once again, Gene. One victim, Angel Colon, 26 years old, from Lakeland in Polk County. We spoke to his dad not too long ago. He told us his son is in good spirits, even though he was shot three times. Now, these are pictures of him. He held the hand of a woman who was on the ground with him, and he thinks that woman was shot again by the gunman and died. Now, not too long ago, we spoke to Maxine Richard, who was at the main bar inside Paul. She heard gunfire and immediately took cover. She was not shot, but she was trampled and she busted her knee. She just left the hospital here in Orlando. Never go out again. Not at all. It was just for a friend at that, a friend event. Like, never again can I do it again. Never again, she says. Really dramatic situation for her. Maxine tells me she cannot simply wrap her head around this incident, but she is one of the lucky ones for a couple of reasons. She got out of Pulse nightclub and she walked out of ORMC behind me. So some good news for her today, but some very awful news for so many others. Back to you guys. Yeah, Ryan, you know, when I hear from people like that, you think people from all walks of life go to these nightclubs, but the gay community, the LGBT community exactly. goes there also because it's a safe haven. It's a place where they can be themselves. You go there to live. You don't go there to die, Ryan. Thank you.